let's practice using our imagination together so we can build it and strengthen it to help us better manifest. Hello and welcome. My name is Gareth Blake and in today's video, I'd like you to grab an everyday household item, even a mug. I'm going to use a mug for this. It's going to be a basic easy to do, easy practical method for you to strengthen your imagination. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our item, mine being the mug, and what we do is we stare at it, take in all the detail. You know, I'd look, I'd see the little rim here. I'd look for the more bigger details to start with, the shape of the mug, the handle. So, and then we move on to the smaller details such as the chakras. Um, so what we're going to do with your item, you're going to hold it and you stare at it for about 10 seconds, analyzing it, and then we'll close our eyes and imagine it, uh, that we're holding it. You know, well, you're going to see it in your mind's eye, and then we'll open again and stare at it, and then close the eyes, imagine it, open, and so on and so forth. And then afterwards, we'll put it down and see it and then add the feeling to it. Okay, so grab your item. Let's look at your item, all right? How does it feel in your hand? What stands out to you? Okay, and now hold it and look at it and in three, two, one. Close your eyes and just imagine it in your hand still, so that you can still see the item within your hand. Okay, now open your eyes and look at this item again. Analyze it. And ready? Three, two, one. Close the eyes. Analyze it. And open your eyes. Now for this round, I'd like you when you close your eyes to lift your gaze just between the eyebrows to the seat of concentration, spiritual center. So you want to bring your energy and awareness to your frontal lobe. We can sometimes we can do this way. Breathing up and imagine the energy is coming into our frontal lobe. And then we're going to stare at, the, stare at it, examine it. Close your eyes. Lift your eyes to the center between the eyebrows. And imagine whatever's in your head. Look for the details that stand out to you. It might be quite faint, but this is why we're practicing. Okay, now open your eyes and put your item down. So as we do this, it's just a series of taking it in, closing your eyes and imagining it, taking it in, closing your eyes and imagining it. So now what we're going to do is out of your hands is sit here, close your eyes and look between the center of the eyebrows. And I'd like you to imagine you holding your item again. Can you feel it? Notice the feeling on your fingertips and within your head. For myself, I can feel, imagine that I can feel the coolness of the cup. Okay, now open your eyes again. Now pick up your item. Feel it. You know what it feels like. Look at it again. You know what it looks like. Put it down. Let's go again. Close your eyes. Yeah. The tension between the eyebrows as you imagine your item within your hand.
and you can feel it. You can feel the sensation on your fingertips. You can notice the major details. Okay, now we open our eyes again. We look and examine. Okay, see this motion I'm doing? You just want to look at yours, whatever you've got. Close it. And now because it's been moving, we want to imagine, see that playing again in our mind with our eyes closed. Okay, so eyes closed. Between the eyebrows. And imagine that movement. Even try to feel it. It's like bringing your memory back. So if you open your eyes again, like if I asked you, what did your shoes look like? Without looking, can you remember? You might have a flash of an image coming back. It's like a memory. And then can you imagine what it would be like if your shoes were red? I can see mine. It does look really funny red, actually. But it's just like this. It's like the memories that might be quite faint. Sometimes mine are really strong. It depends how relaxed I am. Before we imagine as well, another good tip is to get quite relaxed. So a good breathing method. You want to breathe in for five seconds. Stop and hold for five seconds. Exhale for five seconds. And you want to do that about five, ten times. And then we can start imagining. But this is a great method, everyday household items, to build your awareness. And then you can just sit there and imagine, you know, now I can see that cup and I can spin it in my hands. I can pass it from my hand to my left hand, to the right hand. Now I could imagine that it's got a nice warm tea in it. And I can feel in my hands, I'm holding it with both hands, that it's nice and warm. And the steam is rising up to my face. And the more we do that, you can alter it and more enhance it. And you just start with small, small, small visualizations. You can even imagine the room around you. Okay, imagine your roof, the outline going around, the walls coming down. What are you sitting on? Open the eyes, look around again. Okay, take it in, close the eyes. I, I can still see myself because my camera is in front of me. I can see my laptop, I can see the cup, my phone, the plants behind. I can imagine the plants to the left of me, behind me, the ranch slider. You expand your awareness. And this will help. The more you do this over and over, imagine your hand, flip it over, thumb, index, middle finger, ring finger, little finger. Now imagine a black nail polish on. You know, something like that. I'll probably end up getting lit. I don't even do that, that to my nails, but it'd be funny if that manifests. But yeah, I hope this is helpful. And just, Keep at it, keep at it, keep practicing, keep practicing. People message me, I can't do it, I can't do it. You can do it and you will do it and you'll continue to do it. It's just about practicing anything. It's like a muscle. Learn to meditate, learn to focus on your breath. Learn to go back through your day before you sleep. Or what did you just do? What did you have for dinner, lunch or breakfast? You know, I'm sure you can see it pop into your mind. That's um, using your imagination. You're pulling your memory back up. 
it's like right now I'm speaking, I can remember me putting together the salad I had and eating it and it was delicious. You know, the more you practice this, you can even visualize if your eyes open. It's um <clears throat> it's just a practice. And apologies about my voice. It's been destroyed. And thank you for all the support and everything. And apologies, I haven't made videos in a while. And thank you for the support of my song. Um, I'll continue to keep making videos and I hope this has been helpful. So may peace be on your soul and your practices continue to enhance and deepen and you have a marvelous wonderful life and I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.